Blanca cocaine superhighway. Every year, more than 350 tons of coke leaves Bolivia, reaching about 20 million users worldwide. That means they're pulling in an average of $2 billion a week. How do they do it? Three little words. Air, land, sea. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. Hit the drugs, hit the money, then hit the boss of bosses, El Sueño. Four, board that vehicle. Copy. Standing by. Board that vehicle. Copy. Standing by. Waiting. Waiting. Targeting shit's on computer now. You know what robots can't do? Drink beer? Fuck. Die for their country. I gotta say, I feel bad for Agent Sam. That guy was crazy. I mean, his balls must have knocked against his knees that was so big. Six years undercover, that's damn brutal. Think of all the evil shit he must have done to become Sueño's right hand. You're not just driving the guy around. Sandoval's dropping Dismount. bodies, making sure shit of cocaine end up on the street. Doing the bad Standing deed to by. the people you're supposed to be working to protect. Standing by. That's what gets me. How do you live with it for that long? Shit. Ready. He's dead now, so I guess he didn't. A big juicy cheeseburger. Rare. Lobster. Drawn Form butter. File. Fish taco. Porterhouse. Bleed. Baked potatoes. Sour cream. I'm never eating an MRE again. Or energy gel. Or rice. Cold beer. Scotch. Coffee from a French press. You trust this CIA officer? Trust and CIA are two words I never use in the same sentence. They have to sell us out to save their asses. They sell us out. Contact, they always soldier. Do. It's a wicked world, man. No, it's not. It's just the way it is. Hey, yeah? If I buy it, do me a favor. Anything. Scatter my ashes on the field and tell it more of the see. Contact, Keep soldier! Going. How about you? Burn my hard drive? Just burn it. Drop it in the ocean, bury it under a rock at the bottom of the sea. Just get rid of that shit. And don't even think about looking at what's on it. You guys trust back in sorry? Trust my wife and you three. That's it. What about your kids? My kids lie to me every fucking Four chance they get. Say you're born in this shithole. No money, barely a home. You can't afford to feed three meals a day. What do you do? Nice job. Doing what? Working coca fields? Making a few pennies a day? Man, Take care of my family. Forget what makes me a person. Do horrible things to me, both good and bad. Until one day, I realize it's time to move on. Or until the day guys like us Contact, show up. Contact, riflemen! For what I've done. Just so long as we all agree the starting line's gonna be for these folks. Afghanistan, 2000. Easily. Shrapnel in my thigh from an IED in Iraq, 2009. Stung like a bitch. Took like a year for all that shit to come out. Sprained neck after a bad fall on the stain. I think it was 07. Worse than any cut, bullet wound, or broken bone. Couldn't brush my teeth without wanting morphine. Boston Elementary Academy, 1991. Cindy Margolin caught my fingers in a door. Thought I was gonna die. How many nights we've been out here? I'm losing track on my underwear. Soldier! You got right side out, front, front ways and back. Then inside out, front and back. 
I'm right side back. I haven't been changing it. Yeah, I'm thinking Santa Blanca can be smelling for about five minutes up right now. What do you think's gonna happen in this country if and when Santa Blanca leaves? What? Bolivians take over again. But this country's all changed. It used to be FARC taking Bolivian cocaine to Mexico. FARC moves out, some other guy moves in. Santa Blanca moves out, who comes next? I mean, shit. Santa Blanca has done a hell of a lot to build up the community. Man, 75 meters, products. right! You've seen how much they invested in pyrolysite production alone. All these buildings, this equipment, even the logistical template, it's just going to be sitting there when the next cartel moves in. Shut up, dude. You're making me feel all depressed and useless. Move 100 meters right. Roger. Contact. Rifleman, 75 meters right flank. We've got an enemy. Soldier, 75 meters front. Negative. Form column. Move 75 meters, right. Solid copy. Fall back. Solid copy. Rifleman, 75 meters right. Riflemen, 75 meters, front. Form line! Contact! Soldier! <laughs> Engage that man!
75 meters, left flank. Target down! Contact soldier! Sailor sitting in a bar. I've heard this one. I don't give a shit. Anyway, this sailor's sitting in a bar and he leans over to the guy next to him and he says, You want to hear a marine joke? The guy next to him replies, Before you tell the joke, you ought to know. I'm six feet tall, weigh 200 pounds, and I'm a marine. The guy next to me is six foot two, weighs 225, and is also a marine. And the guy next to him, he's Area six clear. five, weighs 250, and is a marine too. Now he says, Do you still want to tell that joke? Sailor thinks about it for a minute and then shakes his head. What's your position? Says, uh, I don't want to have to explain it three times. Hey, did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided Move to move 75 of meters left. On the way. Well, somebody with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch of the general's body. The generals could be measured any way they chose. An Air Force general goes first. He's a smart guy, so he says he no, can sir. measure from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches. So he accepts a severance of $700,000. Move 100 meters Next up left. An army Copy that. This guy says he wants to be measured Fall back. from the tip of his right finger Copy that. to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The army general smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this marine general's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says... You pukes are gonna measure me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Mad Marine Generals are kinky. The men doing the measuring are confused. Sir, are you sure you understand how this works? Just do it, maggot! The Marine General barks, and then he drops his trousers. Well, the two men get out the measuring tape, they steal their courage, and they get to work. So they start at the tip of his dick, but as they work their way down, they see the General's got no balls. Plot twist! One of the men says, Sir, where are your balls? Left him back in Vietnam. <laughs> so there's this army ranger I leave out in my neck of the woods, and he decided he wanted to get himself a pair of alligator boots. But you know we're talking a ranger here. He wasn't going to go to no shoe store. No, he gets himself a knife and heads out to the bayou to get him a gator and make some boots for himself. So he gets off the highway and heads back into the country and finds a little bake shop near the edge of the swamp. He asks the man where he can find himself a gator. Move right. And the man gives Roger. him to the bayou. This doesn't end with banjo music, does it? Move 75 meters, story, right. Okay? Anyway, Roger. the guy at the bait shop says, Look here, while you're out there, keep an eye out for these two Marines I sent in a couple days ago. They were after gator boots too, and they should have been back by now. Ranger says, uh, he'll keep an eye out for them, and heads into the bayou. He follows the man's direction, no can do. heads way out in the swamp. When he gets to where he's going, sure enough, he sees these two Marines standing up to their waist in the water. Over on the shore nearby, there's like 20 dead gators in the mud. Now, as the ranger watches a gator swim up to the marines, this jarhead jumps on the gator, kills it with his knife, drags it up on the shore, flips it over, and looks at the gator's feet. He said, damn it! This one ain't got on no boots either. <laughs> Move right. On the way. Heads up. Bowman's file and Yuri and Pleto's coming through. Maybe we should keep the guns down, make sure we don't scare him. 